Well, on your way to work last Thursday morning, you may have seen Fergus Falls' own Nick Mariotti duct taped to a tree. Our TV1 News reporter Bobby Sue Fenske has the story. In efforts to bring fireworks back to Fergus Falls, Affinity Plus employees conducted an office competition to see who could raise the most money. Mariotti, who has been spearheading the effort to bring a fireworks show back to the city, lost the competition and ended up being duct taped to the tree in front of the Affinity Plus building just before 8 a.m. Mariotti was to be cut down so once he raised $500 in play. donations. Thank By 9.45 a.m., Mariotti was well on his way with about $180 and numerous honks, waves, and smiles from passing vehicles. When I caught up with Mariotti, the first question was, what did it take to get him up there? Uh, two strong men, a ladder, some ropes, and uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, know-how, I guess. It wasn't easy. It took us a while. Not only did people stop to donate to the cause, but there were plenty of pictures taken of and with Mariotti while in the tree. <laughs> and of course, I donated to the cause. Mariotti was a good sport hanging around during the lunch rush. There have been, you know, and that's kind of why I'm, I'm sticking around is the lunch crowd is really you know, increased traffic and so I think that uh, that's making a big difference. As Affinity Plus also served up hot dogs, chips and cookies to those who stopped by to donate or just to say hello. Mariotti had his expectations of how he would feel when he was finally cut down. I think I am going to feel great. I'm going to sit down and eat and drink something and relax because this is anything but relaxing. Mariotti was finally cut down at 1 p.m. With the $500 goal of Mariotti hanging in the tree and the expected amount from the Lake Alice 100 mile bike ride, the final fundraising tally is estimated to be about $12,500. At the end of today, however, Mariotti's goal of $500 to get him down from the tree was surpassed with the amount of $1,213.85. I think it's safe to say that Infinity Plus has more than made its goal. For TV1 News, I'm Bobby Sufensky.